I am back. And I'm black. Horror movies are a big part of my childhood. You could say I just love being scared. You know, the jump scares. The ho scary characters. All that stuff. But if I was in any of those movies, I will not survive. Like, what's a seven-year-old gonna do against this? But right now, as a fully matured, handsome, dripped 18-year-old, I think I have a chance surviving each one of these movies. Since Christmas season is rapidly approaching us, or it's already here, I don't know when this video is coming out, I'm going to make this video of the horror movies I can survive in. Or beat in a fight, I don't know. Alright, let's get into it. First off, we are starting on with Megan. Easy as that, 10 out of 10, I'm surviving easy. Bro, Megan is a killer robot, and I can destroy robots easily. I played lots of Sonic, and I played a lot of Spider-Man, so obviously, I can survive Megan pretty easy. Girl is a doll. I can easily beat her ass before I sign a contract to Manchester United for the Premier League. I can easily run away from her while I'm trying to run away from a school. But let me collect my composure. I'm being wrecked. Coming straight from my rule book of how to get unspoken riz, this bitch has done some serious crimes against humanity. Bro, she was able to pull off a boy's ear off with one hand. And even if you was able to run away as fast as you can like the gingerbread man, she was still donkey style run after you. If you was able to escape from her, nah bro, you're dead. My fact is I'm not afraid to hit girls. I can beat this girl. I'm not Superman. I give her a 10 out of 10. This is like facing your little brother at FIFA. No meme, no meme, no meme, no meme, no meme. Did you pray today? Did you pray today? No, so this movie is about a black family called the Wilsons who live in the state of California. And they got these murderers who look exactly like them. So they steal the identities to go on a murderer's rampage. I don't know if I said that right, it's been years since I watched this movie. But here's my plan to survive. Option one is obviously to move out of California. Because I'm not paying $50 tax laws. Sorry, no sorry. Or option two. Fight back! Go berserk! So there's a bunch of random people. Get a baseball bat. And just whack them. Or... Better yet, get a gun or shoot them. And don't even try to spam me in the comments saying, Ah, uh, wouldn't that make it a little bit easier since it's super easy to defeat? No! It's not just four killers. It's multiple millions. I'm going to say it right now, I can beat these guys. But I'm not surviving. Because if I try to survive, everyone else is going to go run at me at the same time. Although, I'm still going to be Alidate, Red, whatever her name is. She's basically a little girl who got kidnapped years ago. And... She uses ballerina to fight you, so I'm just gonna use common sense. Stab her! Easy! But surviving a whole army of murderers? Yeah bro, I'm giving this a 5 out of 10. Pretty easy, but I'm not surviving. I'm just gonna catch the next flight to Alaska. Okay, so I just watched this movie about 2 months ago with me and my dad, and I'm not the biggest fan of FNAF. Like, I only played the first game, I watched Manga Pass, let's play on it. So my lore on Finance of Freddy's is kind of limited. I know Freddy, Barney, Chica, and Foxy, but if you ask me who Balloon Boy is, I have no idea. If I can survive Finance of Freddy's, then of course I can! They're kids! I'll just do a Pennywise deal with Georgie, run around, eat some popcorn, do some Scooby-Doo shenanigans, I won't even have to fight them! They're also not very hard to fight, they're easy mode! These guys are taser level, all you have to do is throw a bucket of water and taser them, and you win! Easy! That cupcake robot though, is a little bit mid, but... I'm gonna be the last easy! The hardest one is easily that Golden Freddy one, which is basically an old man in a suit that stabbed his own daughter. So I'm just gonna use my amazing art skills to manipulate the animatronics and they'll fight for me. The cupcake one will just bite the suit and he'll get stabbed by their own spring traps. Easy! Like I said, I'm not really a big expert on FNAF. Like, I only played the first game and I watched the movie. But I'm pretty sure I could beat this old ass dude in a fight. He's old! Old! I know how I feel about old people. I don't discriminate though. I'm surviving the movie, but I can't survive the game. I gave them a 9 out of 10 low diff. I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love. I'm not sure if I can survive and get out, but I watched every episode of the Boondocks and I play Fortnite. So the story of this movie is pretty simple. The mind controlling the black people, the take control of the bodies, and the using the somewhat her of a daughter to just date a bunch of them, or just kidnapping them. I'll be for real. If I was here, a white woman in real life try to do this to me, man, I'll just slap them out of existence. 
But just for the fact there's a white family trying to hypnotize people into becoming slaves, I'm catching the next flight to my home country. Other than the mind control stuff, they're basically a bunch of random people. So all you need to do is get a gun or just flash a camera into their face. And like I said again, I'm going to have the guys fight for me. Easy. No white girl's gonna get her hands on me. I give her a 5 out of 10. Not a 4, I can at least destroy them. I'm just a scaredy cat. Alright, before we get to the last one, here's an honorable mention. Jack from The Shining. Bro, just get a gun or just get a knife. Easy, no diff. Okay, so this guy, Freddy Cooker, who comes from Nightmare on Elmore Street, is pretty easy to defeat. His character throughout the movie is basically murdering people in their sleep. And I'm telling you right now, Freddy Cooker ain't gonna catch me in my dreams. I'm just gonna be having my pills, drinking some coffee, and even have my prime drinks. I'll be fully alive! Or I could just move to Plan B. Just move out of Ohio, because who the hell wants to stay in Ohio anyways? The only way Freddy's ever gonna get me is I sleep while I'm playing Fortnite. So all I'm gonna do is grab a gun and just shoot him when I'm sleeping. That's not even that hard. I get two hours of sleep a day tops. Also, my dreams could be weird at times, so he'll be in a cocomelon version of Ohio. I'm just giving Freddy a 7 out of 10, pretty mid diff. I can say this fight is literally 3 for free. Yeah, that's the end of the video. This is basically all the horror movies I can survive in. As long as I don't get possessed by no smile demon, I'm not fighting these guys. Guys, I will find a way. Anyways, I have exams to study for, so make sure you like and subscribe and follow me on TikTok. The link's in the description. And see you in February 2024. And question of the day. Legalize nuclear bombs. Swag, my son.